And here we have it, another beautiful shellfish dish. Let's give it a taste test. All right, so today we're going to share with you the technique of how I clean these cockles and also the clams. So what I do is I run the knife along the body of the white neck, white cockles, and I split it open, and I and then I see what's inside. Um, if I need to push farther back, then I'll cut more until I get to the foot of the clam. That way, I can get rid of all the guts and the gunk. Um, sometimes uh, they come out clean. Sometimes they're filled with um, their internal guts, which are kind of yellow. Or in this case, you know, there's the lining, their their intestine lining. So you just pluck it off. Um, and I pretty much go through all of them. Uh, so I'll save you the time, and then we'll move on to the next step. Uh, if you don't want to use a knife, uh, you can always use a pair of scissors. This is actually a much safer way so that you can control the cut. Um, so yeah, see, that's the stuff I'm talking about. So I just run that under running water, and it'll get rid of it. ones are the arctic surf clams. I'm just going to use a pair of scissors as well and we're going to cut all the way from the opening to the, to the red portion which is the foot of the clam and I just clean out the little bit of gut. Um, don't forget we're after we clean all of these we're going to run it under running water so that for sure it will be clean and there will be no grit. Local Asian grocery store uh, for me is a Ranch 99. I'm sure they have these stores throughout the states. The rest of the clams save you some time. What I did right here is I put some butter and melted some butter and adding in some diced garlic or minced garlic. We're gonna give it a chance for the garlic to release some of its aroma. And then shortly, we're going to add in the clams. I'm just sprinkling some salt to season it. Now that I smell the aroma of the garlic, it's time to add in the clams. As I have shared with you in previous clam videos, it doesn't take long to cook these clams, probably about five minutes or so. Um, if you're doing it any longer than that, it's gonna turn rubbery. I sure love the smell of fresh clams. All right, it's been cooking for about a minute or two. I'm gonna add in some lemon pepper for seasoning. This Lowry's lemon pepper has been one of my favorite spices for cooking uh, any of these shellfish. For some reason, that lemon pepper from this blend is just really good. Give it a nice stir so that the pepper and the spices kind of get to go on all the clams. This is almost done, so we're gonna stir it up pretty soon. And on the side, I didn't share with you, but I have, um, we're gonna have this with a salad. So what I have to, to off camera is some uh, red butter lettuce. It's gonna be really good. I have a little bit of cilantro and some green onion as well. So now that this is done, I'm just gonna pour it over into the lettuce. Let it really kind of cook it a little bit. Trust me, this is gonna be delicious. I'm super excited to share with you. My, 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 that is beautiful. Oh, yeah, this smells really good. And this is gonna be a super healthy meal because it's just protein and vegetables. 
take a nice close-up look at how beautiful those arctic clams are hello welcome back all right so this is taste test time i actually cut up the cockles into smaller bite-sized pieces so it's easier to eat <laughs> it's so good and then these are the uh, arctic surf clams Mmm. Mmm, I got the salad. You know, just a simple red um, Just a simple red lettuce with a little bit of parsley. Um, drizzled in olive oil. And we we'll mix with the butter and um, butter and clams. It's amazing. Mm. I cut up the lettuce and I'm just gonna have it with the clams. It's delicious. Mmm. Mmm. And the parsley gives it a little bit of fragrance. Mmm. That's delicious. Well, I'm gonna continue eating. And in the meantime, I just I want to thank you for tuning in. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know. Let me know what you'd like to see next time. Uh, what other foods I should cook up? I'll look it up and I'll make a I'll uh, create a recipe for it. Thank you. Take care.